AI agents are almost everywhere and if you haven't noticed yet, you're probably not living in a right world. In this video, I'm going to show you something really cool I built using OpenAI Real-Time API. But instead of just telling you about it, let's start with a quick demo and let's see if you can figure it out yourself. Hi Jay, can you hear me? Hola Jay, ¿puedes oírme? Sí, sí, te escucho bien. Yes, I can hear you well. Yeah, that's great. So I built this AI translator app. It bridges the communication gap between our native languages. That's pretty cool, right? Entonces construiste esta aplicación de traductor de inteligencia artificial que ayuda a cerrar la brecha de comunicación entre nuestros idiomas nativos. Eso es bastante genial, ¿verdad? Okay, so if you don't mind, should I start with project setup? Está bien. ¿Puedo empezar con la configuración del proyecto? Adelante, sin problema. Go ahead, no problem. I'm Sumit So, I'm developer advocate at VDSTK.live. First, let's see how we can start with this project. To get started with this project, all you need is a VDSTK's O token, which, which you can get at app.vdstk.live. Once you sign up, you will get 10,000 free minutes that you can experiment with. Next, we need a OpenAI secret key. Okay, so first let's clone this repository. Inside your computer, inside any folder you want, you can clone this repository. And let's navigate to this folder. So if you check out, we have this client folder. So first let's install all the dependencies that are required for our client app to work. Next, uh, we can open this project inside VS Code. Uh, here first, uh, let's add OpenAI secret key. So I'm going to create this .env file and simply just copy this template code. We have to create an API key. copy it and paste it inside your .env file. Next step is to uh, add VDSTK's OAuth tokens so that we can make authorized request to VDSTK's endpoint. So simply create another file and again copy this template code. So in API keys, simply click this key icon to generate an authentication token. Select an expiry for your token and then add it to your uh, .env file. Once that done, we can uh, run our client. So first let's run our client application by using this script npm run dev. Our client is running on port 5173. So let's see how it look. So this is our client application. Next, to run server application, first you have to create a virtual environment. Uh, to do that, you can run this script. Uh, after this virtual environment is created, we have to execute this activate script. And then we have to install all these packages inside this requirements file. Uh, to do that, simply use this command and this input file. After everything is installed successfully, you can simply uh, use this command to run that uh, fast API server. So our file is this main and our... Okay, so... Uh, make sure you are inside this virtual environment. Here our uh, fast API application is this app. So we can use this script. Our server is running on port 8000. So let's uh, check if everything is working fine. I uh, created this session. Next I invited this AI agent. First, let's quickly cover the server side. We build our server using fast API. Fast API are used to build API applications and it exposes endpoints that allow our client application to invite the AI agent to an online meeting. In our main file, we defined join player endpoint and this is where our client is making a post request. So 
uh, first this session is started by client and when this icon is clicked a post request is made to this join player endpoint in a meeting configuration we are getting meeting id and token and this information is used to create a pointer to an existing meeting inside this ai agent class first we prepare a meeting configuration so we set uh, basic settings for our ai agent like what is their name and whether their media are enabled or not and we also have some cool options like custom microphone audio track because it's an ai agent it doesn't have access to uh, microphone that's why we have to create custom microphone audio track so that this ai agent can speak in an online meeting next uh, we can create a pointer to an existing meeting uh, using this init method from video sdk class so this ai agent is uh, used to like this instance is used to join an existing meeting we can call methods like async join or normal join if you want to join uh, th that ai agent synchronously and we can also call methods like leave if we no longer need that ai agent so that's what happening here uh, so we are running this server operation task in background and here we are creating an instance to that class and then we are simply calling this join method so this is how an ai agent joins an existing meeting let me show you how it works so this session is started by client and when this icon is clicked as you can see this ai agent is part of an online meeting now let's look at ai agent class uh, the ai agent sets up meeting configuration with meeting credentials and custom microphone audio track then the ai agent registers a meeting handler so that it can listen to uh, local meeting events and a participant handler to listen to a remote participant event for example when a remote participant joins or when their audio stream gets enabled or disabled so this lets uh, the agent know when to start processing their audio stream okay so let me give you an example uh, as you can see once pointer to an existing meeting is created we are attaching meeting handler so this meeting handler class is extending this meeting event handler from video sdk basically these are the events that we can listen to uh, for example uh, once that ai agent is subscribed to this class it can listen to when a local participant joins or when they left when a remote participant join and when they left so that's what happening here uh, for example when this meeting is joined we are connected to open ai websocket server when a participant joins we can access their name and language they speak and accordingly we can design a system prompt for open ai uh, also there are some other events like on stream enabled so these are remote participant event so we are just uh, overwriting these two methods for example whenever a participant enable their stream we can capture that stream and then we created this task where uh, we are first processing this stream then we are converting it to a suitable format so that we can hand it over to uh, open ai and finally we are calling this method from this intelligence class so we are going to discuss uh, open ai intelligence class in next segments okay so now let me give you a demo here i started this meeting and if you check out server nothing is happening here because uh, the ai agent hasn't joined yet so let's join that ai agent now th that this ai agent is joined and when i enable my stream by uh, clicking this hold to speak button uh, you will know on server side that i enabled my stream and then i disabled my stream so this is how ai agent uh, get information about local events and remote events now let's discuss how AI agent integrates with OpenAI real-time API. In our OpenAI intelligence class, we first set up a connection with OpenAI WebSocket endpoint. This is where we can select different models and we can also add uh, different voice agents. Once connected, then we use send audio data method to transmit our processed audio data to OpenAI WebSocket connection. Previously, if you remember, uh, we were receiving audio from active participant then we were converting them into PCM format and then we were sending them to uh, this open AI intelligence instance so in this method first we are preparing a message uh, so this message is base 64 encoded then we are sending this message to open AI websocket connection and open AI is going to 
सेंड रिस्पॉन्स सो बेसिकली वॉट हैपन इज ओपन ए आई रियल टाइम ए पी आई फर्स्ट प्रोसेस इज दिस ऑडियो देन इट सेंड्स रिस्पॉन्स इन फॉर्म ऑफ ऑडियो डेल्टाज एंड ट्रांसक्रिप्शन सो इन आर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन वी क्रिएटेड दिस फंक्शन स्पेसिफिकली डिजाइन टू हैंडल ओपन ए आई रिस्पॉन्स ओपन ए आई इज गोइंग टू रिस्पॉन्ड विद बोथ transcription as well as audio part and once we receive that audio part we can create custom audio track for this ai agent so that this ai agent can speak in an online meeting so this audio track is instance of custom audio track so we have this class custom audio track this is where we are creating a track for this ai agent so as soon as we get uh, this audio response from open ai we are creating audio track for that ai agent and finally we are adding this option which is custom audio track now that we understood all the steps we can start with a quick demo our server is running on port 8000 and our client app is running on port 5173 and let's see a demo with two participants now that we understood all the steps we can start with a quick demo our server is running on port 8000 and our client app is running on port 5173 and let's see a demo with two participants hi j can you hear me hola j puedes oírme si si te escucho bien yes i can hear you well yeah that's great so i built this ai translator app it bridges the communication gap between our native languages that's pretty cool right entonces construiste esta aplicación de traductor de inteligencia artificial que ayuda a cerrar la brecha de comunicación entre nuestros idiomas nativos. Eso es bastante genial, ¿verdad? Okay, so if you don't mind, should I start with project setup? Está bien. ¿Puedo empezar con la configuración del proyecto? Adelante, sin problema. Go ahead. No problem. 